You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez. Here's a look at your top stories. Thousands of dollars worth of damage left behind when suspected thieves tried to get into this downtown L.A. bike shop. KCAL News reporter Amanda Starantino has a look. I'm Amanda Starantino in the South Park neighborhood of downtown LA and just take a look behind me at all of this damage. This happened Saturday morning around 6 a.m. when thieves in a U-Haul tried to smash into the side of this building. This is a local bike shop here in this neighborhood. It's been around for more than 15 years and you can see just how much damage they did here. This gate though is what stopped it because when they rammed into the gate, it actually made it so they couldn't get into the building. So thankfully they didn't steal anything from inside, but they did leave thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage. Now LAPD is coming today finally for a detective to come check this out, check out the surveillance video, but still the small business owner is saying not enough has been done to get this to stop. Now they've had thefts in the past, but nothing this dramatic before. So they're just hoping this doesn't happen again and hoping that they figure out who these people are before it happens again to them or to other small businesses in the area. We're going to have that surveillance video and you're going to hear from that small business owner coming up on KCAL. Also today, L.A. County D.A. George Gascon announced charges in two sexual assault cases, one in Long Beach, the other in Culver City. Police say last month Marcos Maldonado broke into a Culver City home and sexually assaulted a minor. Then on December 27th in Long Beach, Martin Lopez posed as a police officer, then assaulted and robbed a woman. Both were arrested last week. Investigators believe there are other victims and are asking them to come forward. Today, crews cleaned up a homeless encampment in Poinsettia Park. It's part of L.A. Mayor Karen Bass's Inside Safe program. Jeff Nguyen shows us the help those were living there will get. Jeff Nguyen here in the Fairfax District, and we are at an encampment that is right across the street from Poinsettia Park. So today we are covering the latest Inside Safe operation from the mayor's office. We're talking about L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. As you can see here, there is some uh, yellow tape that has been set up. So what happened is that the folks who were living at the encampment, they have agreed to be relocated into interim housing. In addition, uh, they were allowed to carry whatever belongings they needed. However, whatever they did not want to bring with them, uh, they have basically allowed to be disposed of. So what we're talking about are uh, the tents that are left behind. This inside safe operation today included this encampment across the street from Poinsettia Park, as well as another encampment just a few blocks from here. So we are essentially talking about two council districts uh, that have uh, been addressed. Uh, we are told by the mayor's office that 35 people were relocated into interim housing. Once they go in there, the process will begin to get them into permanent housing. Now, according to the latest numbers from the mayor's office, since she has taken office, uh, 21,000 people have been moved into interim housing. And of the 21,000, uh, 3,000 people have been placed in permanent housing. On top of that, 7,000 have been offered housing vouchers. So we will be out here today and we will show you the process and then also introduce you to some of the folks in this community, not just the people living on the street, but the people who live in the neighborhood talking about how they feel about the encampment and the inside safe process. We will have all of that for you on KCAL News beginning at 4 p.m. All right, we'll see Jeff at four meantime. Let's turn now to the weather. We are tracking several issues in our region. A live look right now at Santa Monica, where there are flooding concerns, high surf and strong winds as well. Let's turn it over to KCAL News meteorologist Olga Ospina with a look at your next weather forecast. Olga. Hi, Juan. Yes, a lot to get to in your weather. We have those flooding concerns along the coastline, the winds, and of course, the very cold temperatures that, that you certainly felt today. We're seeing partly sunny skies this afternoon and temperatures in the 60s for a lot of us, even 50s up in the high desert. We're looking at 53 degrees in Lancaster as we head into the LA area, 64 in downtown Los Angeles. So a pretty cool winter day. We have low 60s Next. in Lake Mission Viejo as well as 50s and 60s uh, through much of the Inland Empire. Upper 30s in Forest Falls, 57 currently in Lake Arrowhead. Here's a look at the next 12 hours for places like Riverside dropping down not just into the low 40s, 
but look at this upper 30s as you wake up tomorrow morning. So it is going to be another night of very cold temperatures and some of the coldest temperatures will be felt uh, for places like Calabasas into Agora Hills where we do have a freeze warning going into effect overnight into early Wednesday. Temperatures dropping down into the low 30s. We do have a system approaching that's going to bring us a chance of getting a few showers as we head into tomorrow. Here we are Wednesday 1115. So late Wednesday into the early part of Thursday, a little bit of wet weather and even some snow for those higher elevations. And as that system pushes through, we're looking at some of those gusty winds moving through high wind warning in effect as well as wind advisory Wednesday into Thursday. That's going to impact really most of us with those strongest winds where you see the high wind warning that includes a lot of our deserts as well as mountain areas with gusts nearing 60 to 70 miles per hour. We also have that winter storm warning due to that snow that's expected up in those higher elevations and that coastal flood advisory along the coastline and that's going to be really Wednesday into Thursday as well. So a lot and of course those cool temperatures even the daytime highs are going to be on the cooler side. 50s and 60s are going to be the story for your Wednesday and the seven day forecast showing you we're going to keep things on the cooler side over the extended period as we head into Sunday and Monday, getting a little bit closer to where we should be. But again, keep an eye for those showers as we head into the next couple of days. And of course, those gusty winds and the elevated surf. Juan, back to you. All right, Olga, thank you for that. Innovation is on display at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas right now. Jessica Naziri has a look at what day two has to offer. I'm on the CES show floor. So much innovation all around me. You can feel the energy. Right next to me, we have Zoo Gears. It's teaching pets how to play music. Tell me about it. Yeah, so right here we have the world's first home IoT for pets. We're starting out with a musical instrument. Once your cute little puppy finishes playing a song, this device has a built-in integrated feeder, which will rotate and reveal a tasty little treat for your little puppy. Positive reinforcement for your pets. Who would have thought? Moving on, we have robots all across. Small, big, but one that really stood out, robotic surveillance. Imagine using this in a school when there's a would-be shooter, an active shooter. So tell me exactly how this works. Oh, hi. So this kind of robots, we can, you know, put a cameras and speakers on it. So for school security part, we can, you know, school security guards can see what has happened and it can, if someone's weaponized, he can talk through it to say drop your weapon. Also, this kind of robots can be teached to you to program C++. So you can see this all in real time. Moving on, we have an autonomous transportation device. Take a look at this, changing the way we transport. Tell me about it. Yeah, this is a fully autonomous people transporter running our computer vision only algorithm. Wow, so much tech we've seen here, AI, robotics. We're just getting started. Jessica Naziri here in Vegas for KCAL News. Can't wait for day three. Thanks, Jessica. This has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juan Fernandez, and we'll be back live right here at four on CBS News Los Angeles. CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.